Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new Sunday reset packed full of cooking and cleaning motivation to get you ready for the week ahead. Today's video I had to film over the course of about three days because it's been a heck of a week. The kids had doctor's appointments. We had to get a new washing machine that turned out to be a fiasco. I'll tell you guys more about later. Um, but yeah, it's just been a heck of a week. Week was kind of broken up with the kids' doctor's appointments and the washing machine ordeal. So I really never had like a full dedicated day to do my reset. So I just did what I could when I could, which is real life. Sometimes we don't have the time to do it all in one day. And I am also now sick, so that's why my voice sounds the way that it does. So I'm just doing the best I can with this voiceover. But we are starting today in the master bathroom. I wanted to take those shower curtains down and get those washed. The shower desperately needed a good scrub in. I'm gonna use Kaboom and a magic eraser to get that whitened back up. The magic eraser does a really great job at removing stains in the shower. We had a lot in the bottom that this worked really great for. rinse in the tub I noticed mold coming out from under the crack between the tub and the wall so in a second I'm gonna go back in with the steam cleaner and steam clean down in that groove to remove all of that mold So I just let these shower curtains go through the wash cycle and then I'm just going to hang them back up wet to air dry.
outside I wanted to get the porch cleaned back up we had some boxes that needed to be broken down pumpkins that we carved last week needed to go in the trash because they were rotting and they were starting to smell and attract flies so I wanted to do a quick reset out here So that was all of the time that I had for cleaning on this day, but I thought I would share with y'all what we were having for dinner. I was getting some spaghetti noodles on to boil and earlier in the day we had started on this pasta sauce and we had let it simmer for a good part of the day. If you want a good homemade pasta sauce, my aunt actually just shared a video over on her channel. She's always making something yummy over there. It takes me back to spending time in the kitchen with my Nana every time I watch her videos. But if you go over to her channel, make sure to let her know that I see you. And back here in the back, we made a banana bread with some bananas that were on their way out, and that will be dessert. the next day my room really needed to be the focus of this day if I could get this one task done I would feel accomplished I feel like I'm always cleaning this room but honestly it's just the way that it is right now most of you know that I share this room with my three kids so with four of us in here and our things in one room it can get out of hand very quickly but I do have something exciting to share with y'all hopefully soon I am biting at the bit to tell y'all but I want to wait until Everything is finalized first, but hopefully soon I can share that with y'all. Outside my window Is everything pale and cold Can't 
seem to pick up my phone It's been ringing all day long Behind these clothes I know the sun will be But today is raining So be patient with me I'll be right Somehow I must be Somewhere the sky is blue wiping everything down with the wood for good by method it smells so so good what I'm using today is actually the wood polish but they also sell the wood cleaner we're out of the cleaner I was just using this but honestly I can't tell the difference it's probably the same stuff in different bottles um, but if you haven't tried the wood for good I highly highly recommend it makes everything in your house smell amazing In this basket was just some jackets I needed to go through for the boys and see what I wanted to keep. Some of them Kai had outgrown but Kane can now wear so I wanted to hang on to those and I don't really have any room to keep them out so I just put them into a trash bag and stored them under the bed and we'll pull them out as needed. Also my Halloween costume I'm probably going to end up selling that but just to get it out of the way for now I just threw it in a bag and put that under the bed. I'm gonna mop really quick in here and then I will see you guys with a grocery haul for the week. All right, guys, we're gonna take a break really quick and I will go ahead and show you the groceries for the week. Thing over here, I got some fold top sandwich bags, some disposable cups to go in the bathroom. I'm gonna be making 
green bean casserole for Thanksgiving. So I went ahead and got the stuff for that. I got two bags of the fried onions. Y'all remember last week I bought two apples because we never eat a whole bag. But we actually ate those two apples right up. <laughs> so I went ahead and got us a big bag this week. And some more caramel dip because it was so good. I um, got some celery, some cubed ham. I want to do ham and potato soup in the crock pot pretty soon. Some cappuccino chicken broth that's gonna also be for the potato soup shower caps that we use as a bowl cover i got some more mascara a couple things of nails got some more black ones and then this pretty mauvey color with the shimmer accent there we got some toilet bowl cleaner some greek vanilla yogurt two things of cream cheese spread one strawberry and one is honey pecan pecan got some bagels to go with that as well um some more coffee creamer tea steak sauce my green bean casserole stuff some cream of mushroom some green beans two things of strawberries i was glad to see the price of these come down it was like three dollars per pound versus six almost seven dollars last time get us some waffle cut fries crinkle cut some shrimp and more of our chicken strips since I accidentally got the boneless wings last week cucumber a kiwi I thought I would let the kids try that see how they like it some bagels um, for breakfast garlic bread sticks some cinnamon swirl bread a box of maple brown sugar oatmeal just instant oatmeal that we can heat up really quick in the mornings some more Alani energy drinks and I wanted to try these bubbly sparkling waters and then here on the bench we've got a box of kool-aid jammer juice boxes some more laundry detergent and a big box of diapers So now that all of the groceries are put away, I'm going to work on getting some stew beef into the crock pot and just let it cook all day. We had a few carrots and onions we needed to use and this is a really great way to do that. So what I'm first going to do is brown up the meat first and once I have it browned up and all of my produce prepped, I'm going to transfer it into the crock pot, sprinkle in some onion soup mix and this will cook all day and then later on we'll just make some rice to go with it. So
I never got it, what you have to go I guess this world's too slow for you I think there's beauty in the gray, the cold But you just want the gold And there's no way I can beat it Cause I got no chance, no chance When it comes to her She got the glitter and the fame And I, I just wasn't enough for you go ahead and soak my strawberries and apples I just do that with cold water and baking soda for about 15 minutes it helps so much to have this wash for the week so when the kids ask for it it's ready to grab So let me tell y'all about our washing machine fiasco. So we had to get a new one because the other one was leaking water. It was actually getting worse and wetting our floor and we can never figure out how to fix it. We knew it was eventually going to ruin the floor if we didn't do something. So we had to get a new one, but when they delivered it, they broke one of the pipes trying to hook it up and water was spraying all in the house. So we had to turn off the main water supply until a plumber could come out it was only a few hours thank goodness the plumber was able to come out fix the pipe and hook up the washing machine for us but the hookup for this washer was on the opposite side of where the hookup is at on our wall if that makes any sense and so the hose wasn't long enough to stretch either so we had to turn it sideways to get it at least functional until we can get a longer hose but that's why the washing machine is sitting the way that it is
moving into the living room I still needed to get the couch covers back on from when I washed those last week they were clean they just haven't been put back on they've been sitting in the recliner so they're kind of wrinkly but I just haven't had time to get those back on but they are going back on today and I'm just gonna wipe everything off with some Mrs. Myers in the mum set Life was dull until you came I was breathless when we first met Couldn't keep my hands away really quick good here in the kitchen and the living room our floor was pretty bad so it needed a good freshen up but that will complete today's video I hope that you got some motivation out of it as always I thank you guys for being here if you made it this far leave a butterfly in the comments down below I hope that y'all have a great day and I'll see you in the next one bye